Hey everybody, it's episode 2 of the current newest season of Dexter. Big welcome back to Dexter. Great to see Michael C. Hall back in the role. He slipped straight back into it. No issues. It was like he never left. He doesn't even have to say anything. He just have to give you a look. He just has to give that look and you know, oh shit. What's he thinking? What's he going to do? Also good to see, surprise as well, Jennifer Carpenter back as the person in Dexter's ear telling them not to kill people. Oops. Uh, but she, it was like, it was like those two, it was like they never left, you know? Um, the music is different, but I heard that the composer died between the end of the series and now, so can't it can't feel the same. Uh, but I did like what they did with the episode. I love that white deer. I love that moment where that deer gets shot. And that guy, he had it coming. He had it coming. All episode, he had it coming. Dexter was reigning in his... He was like, I'm not going to kill him. What do you mean? What do you mean he's doing... The, what do you mean he's pointing a gun at me? I'm not going to kill him. But he shot his deer. He shot his deer and gets killed. Harrison is back, looking for his dad. Dexter has embraced him. But it's unclear what he knows about what's going on. Has Dexter left blood evidence at a crime scene? Or were those just hens that he killed? Because a fox got in the hen house, that's his excuse for not going to the Groundhog Festival? I don't know. Something I didn't mention at the end of last episode is that it seems, it feels, it feels to me like there's always a, a major villain in each season of Dexter. And I feel like whoever is disappearing these women on that police wall, that's who the villain is going to be. That's who Dexter is going to have to take down. They set it up slowly in this first episode. We didn't get to learn anything. Just that women are disappearing. It's kind of a slow burn build up. Maybe we'll get more action on that. And maybe the disappearance of that super rich douche will cause big scene and the freaking federal army will be called in. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into episode two. No case. You're not from around here. Hanging the first bus out tomorrow. Well, geez, that girl gonna get. Taken. Everyone close to you dies. Yeah, but sometimes bad guys too, Deb. Are we getting an intro? No. <laughs> hey son, what do you know, baby? What did Hannah tell you? What can I possibly say to the son I abandoned? Do you want a Coke? You got big. <laughs> Good one. I could whip up some blueberry pancakes. Ooh, Still love those. Pancakes. Not five anymore. Dude, pancakes though. This is where I sharpen all my weapons, What's son. Bowling team. Yeah, we got second place at the Harvest Fest tournament last year. The Harvest Fest. <laughs> it's like they live in the 1900s. If, if you like, I could turn on some more lights, son. Do you, do you like the lighting in this place? I can barely see anything. It's how I like it. I found it when she died. Hannah died? Hannah's dead. No wonder he's here. What happened to you? Where have you been? Foster system? I bounced around a bunch of shitty foster homes. Why are foster homes never nice? So why all this gem bullshit? It's a long story. And I'll tell you everything in the morning. I promise. <laughs> no, you won't. If you need anything else. Where's the bathroom? We go outside in the woods with the bears. Is it the dead? You're not bleeding! Holy shit, Dad. You need an exorcist, Dexter. An exorcist. The power of Christ compels you. I'm not gonna fuck him up. Is that... is that the title of the episode? Did you see that girl who was about to get taken? She was supposed to be on the first bus, right? Where is this? Complimentary champagne? Who's this? Where is she? This is what happens when I give in to my dark passing. Look! Sloppy! But I can fix this. At least he spotted it. Oh, the cops. Hey, honey. What's up? 
You gonna use my cabin as a headquarters? Matt Caldwell disappeared in the woods near here last night. I was hoping we could set up base camp for the search here. <laughs> yeah, of course. Or I'll get some coffee going, breakfast too, if you want. You want some pancakes? People set up the tents. Let's move quickly. They didn't do this for all the girls that were missing, did they? What's going on? Oh, he has some explaining to do. I'm Jim's son. Son. <laughs> Add that to the list of things I need to clean up. <laughs> no, she doesn't seem too phased about it. You should meet my daughter, Audrey. She's about your age. Oh, she's already matchmaking. Making. Thanks for going along with the gym thing. Thanks for covering for me. Just didn't want a cop all up in my business. Like father, like, like father, son. Like son. That's what I said, dude. Oh, and stay hydrated. Okay. Can I can I dr eat the snow? Does that help? Get the drone in the air. Oh shit, drone. If I missed a blood trail to my own cabin, what else did I miss? Harrison and I can take that area near the woods. Fine. You and your son can take it. Hey, hey, we'll talk about that later. Ouch. No, 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 no. Oh, he broke it. Oh, crap. I might get away <laughs> with this after all. Yep. Where is this place? Where is this place? Is this the same laptop that be watching the the girl? Avoiding rocks. Usually. Get all the blood. Get all the blood. You think this missing guy just got lost out he here? He probably just tripped or something. I mean, who knows what happened to him? What is that? Good spot, son. You're a natural born tracker. It's against the law to kill them. We need to tell Angela. Just follow the trail back and get them here as fast as you can. Hey, Dad, wasn't that the same deer you were hunting yesterday when I was stopping you in the woods? That young woman yesterday, the one who was leading the protest. She by any chance your daughter? Yeah, stay away from her. Her generation sees the world only in black and white, good and evil. Yeah, you're you're evil. And ignores all of the good I do, all of my charity work. Very much appreciated. Can I leave now? Mm -hmm. They always say killers return to the scene of their crimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fucking funny. Yeah, Deb. Shh. I'm trying to concentrate. Should be a bloody rock around here somewhere. Mystery solved. When Harrison's been here one day and you have him in the woods looking for a man you killed? Yeah, but that was just bad timing. Ooh, the highway. And I have to stay a step ahead of everyone. Uh, okay, they're gonna find the glove there. Perfect. More people to mess up the crime scene. None of us would have done something like this. Must be that Matt guy. You think maybe Matt Caldwell would? This is bullshit, Angela. Yeah, Angela. I'm betting the Caldwell kid did this, did ran. The highway is just a couple of clicks in that direction. Yeah, let's see if we can find anything. That way. Then when one of our girls goes missing. Yeah, they never turn up for those, do they? After Iris, you of all people should know. Oh, our sister? We saw her picture. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to pick a side. I just found this. No, he about found a mile it. down the trail. He found it. Right before I got to the highway. Chicken shit cut and ran. Matt had gloves like that when he was in the store. Indeed he did. Harrison, the high school just got out, so the students are joining the search. Maybe you can meet some kids your own age. Well, are you trying to... She's trying to match, make him with everybody. You doing okay with all this? Fine. They have the same sort of oh. hair. Cool, actually. Okay, everyone. Oh. Do exactly what the officers Zach. tell you. Oh, Zach. The jocks oh. are here, son. Hey, you want to help me with the goats? Oop. Dad, the girls are here. I need to go mingle with people my own age. <laughs> <laughs> This is a trained goat. Hey, hey, already? I know how awkward it can be meeting new people. Oh, he's not like you when it comes to social awkwardness. He's zoned in on Angela's daughter, and she's zoned in on him already. Oh, the other two pieced out, they knew as well. You fucking love that you're getting away with murder. You can't wait to kill again. Ah! Uh, did he really do that? Stop eavesdropping. Ah, oh, peace. peace. Peace yourself. I wish. Did he really yell or was he just sitting there? You want to come on the search with us? Sh are you going? Sure. Zach and Scott. Zach and Scott. They're smarter than they look. Oh, he knows all the... Just natural, I guess. Are we going to find out who this is? <clears throat> what the... What are we doing? Not a big deal. My folks get queasy at the sight of blood. <laughs> yeah. Every time. You feel the slug? Are we trying to find the bullets? Yep. Thanks, Gig. Sorry you ended up in Iron Lake. I think I'm just passing through, actually. 
He'll stay around. You. Chopper. The cops. The cops. Why are we hiding? Are we not supposed to be here? Put new locks on the cabin doors. Just kick it down. Maybe he can. Maybe he can use his tricks. Do, do tricks. I got it. Can you pick a lock? And I told him a thing or two about breaking into places. Don't don't tell your mom. Mom is really not gonna like you. Yeah, don't tell her about that. Oh, which one are you? Are you Zach? One of them likes her. We all have things we keep from each other, right? I'm not Audrey's birth mother. What? Oh. Deal breaker. Get out of here. You could have shared your Harrison situation with me. I don't know that I can always be the father Harrison needs me to be. I feel that way about being a mom every day. Just wait till he starts dating. Your daughter. I mean, anybody? I bet Audrey and her friends are taking great care of him right now. Oh, they're boozing it up. What? You said your stepmom died of cancer, so how'd your real mom die? Oh, in a... You know what? I you shouldn't have asked. Know? It's none of our business. I'm gonna go get some wood for the fire. <clears throat> Zach is douchey. Zach, you're douchey. Sam, we know nothing about him. But we can. <laughs> don't, don't open That's his bag. Up. Come on. <laughs> so he's actually good at something. Mm, look at these pictures. Like the two of you. What are you guys doing? Stop. Put that away. Dude, they're snooping. Except she's trying to stop it. You saw that, didn't you? Oh, you giving them the signal that he's coming back? This kid's smart. Hey, hey, woman. Where are you? And what's the deal? I don't think you're going anywhere. What the fuck is my phone? Your phone? Yeah, the door doesn't open either. It's all about to go down. Hello? She's now now seeing the cameras? Oh. oh, you're already dead. Holy shit. So the glove was a match. Matt's friend confirmed it was his. I'm guessing he's halfway to New York by now. The last thing this town needed was finding a body in the woods. <laughs> yep. In case you decide you want to stay. We'll build, build you somewhere bigger. I'm not sure. I came here for answers. Yeah, I'll tell you in the morning. The morning, I'll tell you everything. Why did you leave us? Keep Was it safe. because of what you wrote in the letter? Reach out to me if Harrison shows any dark tendencies. Ooh. What was so wrong with me that... It wasn't you I was scared of. It was me. What's he gonna tell him? I was in a dark place after I lost your mom. Ooh, that's good. And Aunt Deb. I got lost. I never imagined you'd be left alone. But maybe I can be there for you now. Yeah, we can start afresh up here. So yeah, I'll stay. Great. For a while. Until college. Everything's working out. Nothing's going wrong. Except for that poor woman who's about to get killed. You don't have to enjoy the wind so much. It's a wind, Deb. It's a wind. I got away with it. Another one. Who's next? Who's next, Deb? Whoever's in this car? Oh, is this his father? Came as soon as I, as I could. No, oh, I know. I know this guy. Evidence points to him fleeing the area. No, 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 no. He would have called me if he was in trouble. He always does. No, Matt's not perfect, but he doesn't deserve to freeze to death in the woods tonight because that's what's going to happen. Everybody get back here. My son has disappeared and we need to find him now. This is Iron Lake. We look out for each other. I'll give you $500 each. Come on. Okay. We'll keep going through the night. I guess we'll be here a little bit longer. Do you want more burgers? It's not a problem. Damn it. No stone will go unturned. No um, lake on. Some stones will go unturned. Oh, I thought we put them, put them, put them in the hole. No, what's this? What's this guy's name? It's on the tip of my brain. Clancy Brown. That's it. So who's the who's the person holding all the women? Is it the super rich oil billionaire guy who I thought was Matt's dad from episode one? Is it Clancy Brown? Is it the newbie at the... Wait. Don't want to see next time. Might answer my question. Is it the drone malfunction guy? Well, I, hmm. It would be difficult for it to be anybody at the, in the, at the search place. Because if those events were happening simultaneously, like the, the laptop zooming and the... I wonder if there's the laptop and the the one we saw when Angela came to the house with the same one. I might pick that up on editing. But somebody 
is kidnapping or somehow like how did she get there how did she not know she was in danger until she couldn't find her phone and couldn't leave the room like Angela gave her like a place to go is that where she went is that the same girl well she's she's done for right that's at least what the camera message is implying. Dexter's son, Harrison, he's fitting in very well. He feels... Obviously he feels a bit abandoned. And when he read the note, he felt really bad that his father left him because he thought he was evil or something. You know, that, that Harrison, there was something wrong with Harrison. But Dexter's reassured him now that he left because of the dark nature inside of him. But that that dark nature only got stirred up because of the death of Rita. And then the death of Deb. Kind of twisted him a bit. He didn't give any details. He just sort of left it vague. But it was believable vague. Angela... Initially a bit mad about Harrison suddenly being dropped into the story because she he didn't let her in. But quickly came around and now they can chat about parenting stuff. Like enrolling him in school. You know, the important stuff. Harrison has instantly made a connection with Angela's daughter, whose name I still don't know. I learned Zach and Scott, but not her name. And I'm only 50% sure on Scott. Kurt is Clancy Brown's name. Got it. I have to remember to keep calling Dex Jim. We got Fred. Junior. Don't know anybody else in the police station's name. Forgotten that already. We do know that Angela's sister. Somebody. Somebody close to her. Is one of the girls that went missing. And uh, we know that Matt's father ain't gonna stop. No stone unturned, no lake undrained, on no tree unchopped down. No person unoverturned. He's not gonna stop till he finds out what happened to his son. I wonder if there is any evidence pointing anywhere. If Dexter's forgotten anything? Or what? Because when you think about it, just say th there's no blood evidence. How how would they ever find him, you know? Why would they ever poke around where he where he's where the body is? Curious about that. So if I was Dexter, right about now, I wouldn't be feeling too bad. I wouldn't be feeling too nervous. Covered my tracks. Nothing can really place me at the scene of the crime. Uh, I don't have an alibi for it, but... You know, everybody likes me in town. Nobody can see my dark side. Everything's just fine, except for that girl. That girl who was watching me in the, the car. Or whatever that vehicle is. She, she might have seen me freak out or be... Just staring at her. I don't know if he, he did that in real life or not. And as long as Deb doesn't get in his ear too much, you know, he won't freak out. So Deb, just keep it keep it cool, you know? A little bit of advice, but don't go crazy on him. Don't make him scream at thin air. I presume next episode we'll deal with see if that woman gets killed. We might learn about more about all that stuff. We're going to see the fruits of an un unsuccessful search through the night. We'll get to know Clancy Brown's character a bit more. And Harrison will get his first day at school. Do you think Harrison's going to end up with that girl? The way they're framing it. 
They made the other kids pretty douchey. So that makes it even more likely. Yeah, pretty simple episode actually, from start to finish. Dexter just set up a narrative, set up a story for everybody to find the right time, point in a certain direction, and they all bought it until the father showed up. Because he would have called him. He don't he doesn't care about any fine, he doesn't care about what he shot on whose land. You know, my douchey son. If he was in trouble, he would have just called me. Hey, Dad, could you give me some money to get out of this situation? Uh, at least I presume his, his dad is super rich. See, I thought his dad was the the super rich guy from episode one, so I could be mixing these things up. Matt was definitely super rich. Buying that thousand, $9,000 gun, or whatever it was. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Good ep second episode. And I'll be back here for episode three next week. And we'll see where the story goes. Where it weaves. What problems arise. If Harrison and that girl get together. If any more women go missing. Oh jeez, if, if Angela's daughter goes missing. Everybody will be on the warpath. Yeah, see you next time.